Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Quality Magnify India. Myself Deepak Kumar Samal, welcome you all once again to my channel. If you if you watch my previous videos, I have one video uploaded as coupling. What is coupling? And on that, I have explained you what type of coupling is there. Okay, rigid coupling, flexible coupling, and types of coupling. How rigid coupling? different types of rigid coupling is there different types of flex flexible couplings are there and few pros and cons we will you will watch here few more differences between a rigid and flexible coupling how it works so before go, goes to rigid and flexible coupling if you didn't watch that coupling video i suggest you please go and watch that coupling video which i have uploaded you will able to know many things about coupling how it works and what are the different types of rigid coupling and flexible couplings in any way let me explain in brief what is a coupling as i explained you on that video it's provide a connection between the soft units that are not manufactured separately let's say pump and motor it is manufactured separate it is manufactured separately so to combine pump and motor pump and generator pump or motor with some sorry motor with the generator or motor with some other part a driver and a driven part then we need a coupling that is called coupling and when we couple, come for the rigid coupling and flexible coupling as you go there you can find out i have explained rigid coupling few of the examples like uh, sleeve and mop coupling clamp or split mop coupling or compression coupling flange coupling these are few of the examples of uh, fixed couplings rigid couplings and uh, some of the flexible couplings i explained uh, there as a rigid sleeve old dam bellow universal joints coupling with a split type jaw type boost pin type so those are uh, flexible couplings but on that uh, video you just able to know what is uh, rigid coupling and what is flexible couplings now here we will see the difference what is the advantage of using a rigid coupling over flexible coupling or flexible coupling over rigid coupling so uh, before start this video i insist if you didn't watch that video kindly watch that video okay it will give you a brief idea then you come and watch this video you will able to know what is the difference between rigid and flexible couplings so that meant two types of couplings it is called rigid coupling which connect two shafts with a solid and high pressure hold and flexible coupling which can be used to connect slightly misaligned shafts so if you use a flange couplings if there is misalignment the flange will never fit okay that is simple you need a rigid coupling if when the alignment is within the toler tolerance level flexible coupling with slight misalignment shafts we can still use the flexible coupling but which cannot provide the same level of torque transfer why it cannot give because there is misalignment okay there will be some loss of energy okay because it is a flexible it is not in the uh, proper center in the rigid coupling the flange to flange connection is there then the torque transfer will be 100% almost or not 100% almost 100% but it cannot be happen with flexible coupling while both coupling types have their advantages and disadvantages it is important to know which coupling is to choose in a particular applications so that is our point so the key difference between rigid and flexible coupling is the connection they provide okay in the rigid the name say it's rigid okay it cannot move and in flexible it can move okay it can play little bit play will be there so rigid coupling provides a rigid connection the two shafts are firmly connected and the coupling allows for a smooth transmission of the torque throughout the system that's why we call it rigid coupling but in flexible coupling what happens it creates flexible connections and the component can lose some of the torque power through the interaction while metallic flexible couplings offer greater torque capability than other flexible couplings some torque is still lost the torque is lost that's why in the flexible coupling torque lost expected in the flexible coupling because there is misalignments and in rigid coupling the torque we can say it is almost the same from the driver to the driven part so few key differences are as follows alignment requirements for flexible coupling can handle slightly misalignment of the shafts if there is slight misalignment of the shafts still we can accept it if it is a flexible coupling but if it is a rigid coupling the torsional steep and cannot tolerate any misalignment misalignment we cannot allow because it is a rigid coupling and the misalignment should be stricter compared to the flexible couplings this applies to both the shaft that are physically misaligned at rest and parts that may cause misalignment during the operation due to thermal changes so this apple applies for both 
okay uh, what is backlash backlash is rigid coupling especially never uh, models of aluminum rigid couplings can significantly reduce backlash at at zero near zero levels flexible couplings don't offer the same protections for the backlash flexible couplings cannot give the same protection what the protection is given by the rigid couplings okay because there is still some misalignments that's why the backlash uh, the backlash is reduced okay to almost zero or near zero levels maintenance requirement because rigid couplings are stiff they do not absorb vibrations which can lead to early wear on parts and are not properly aligned so rigid couplings as i told the misalignment is very less okay so what happened during the it, it doesn't absorb the vibrations okay the vibration cannot be absorbed if the vibration will not absorb so what will happen wear and tear will start operators should routinely check rigid couplings for wear and alignment and they should also routinely apply lubricants flexible couplings can handle vibration and shock without adverse wear the complexity is flexible coupling often have more component and are more complex this is very true the flexible couplings have different components and it is more complex okay if a see a rigid coupling slip type or mop type or clamp type or compression type or clamps coupling it has the normal type of coupling this can make operation and maintenance more complicated oh, the flexible one and rigid coupling are simpler and more straightforward in, co in comparison so rigid couplings is more simpler and it is more straightforward compared to the flexible couplings so applications you can say flexible couplings can be used in uh, servos with low or moderate torque levels and uh, the potential for soft misalignment this includes applications such as machine tools semiconductor manufacturing and package improvements these are some of the examples where it is given where we can use a flexible couplings but rigid couplings work best for high torque requirements soft support applications and push pull use cases the cost of rigid coupling are more affordable than flexible couplings that means rigid couplings are less cost than the flexible couplings okay which tend to have a high a high cost so that's all friends i hope you understand the difference between rigid and the flexible couplings i thought of preparing one more video on that because i made coupling video earlier and uh, on that coupling video i have mentioned the rigid and coup uh, flexible coupling but i thought uh, might be there that is not so clear so i made another one video which will clarify you uh, on the difference between uh, rigid and flexible couplings hope you understand this video and uh, it is useful for your industrial career thank you thank you a lot for watching my video